What is going on, guys? Welcome to a new episode of Delver, the weekly news show where we really quickly go over some of the biggest news in Magic the Gathering. This week, we've got a few uh, cool little things to go over. We're in full preview season for Phyrexia All Will Be One, so they've revealed some of the set's main mechanics. First up, we've got Toxic, which is basically like Infect um, adds poison counters. Uh, Corrupted is something that takes advantage of poison counters um like this seed core you can uh, target one one creature gets plus two plus one until end of turn activate only if an opponent has three or more poison counters uh really cool little mechanic a nice little way for poison counters to matter before they reach the max level of 10 then we've got for mirrodin which is basically a uh, um a mechanic, sorry, that uh, spawns tokens as things enter the battlefield. Um, creates a lot of the, some equipment in Phyrexia All Will Be One. We'll have for Mirrodin as a mechanic. And uh, when this equipment enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 red rebel creature token and attach this to it. So it's basically making tokens for you. Then we've got oil counters, which is basically like charge counters. Um, things will progressively gain more and more oil counters and that will change the way it interacts with your board. And then lastly, we have Proliferate, something if you haven't been around. I play a lot of Infect when I play um, older formats, so I'm familiar with pro Proliferate, but there's a lot of uh, newer Magic players that don't know what P Proliferate does and that basically, when you Proliferate, it lets you add one more counter of an existing counter already on players and cards so if a player an opponent has a poison counter you can add one more poison counter if you have a planeswalker on the battlefield you can add one more loyalty counter um, if a card has a minus one minus one counter you can add another one um, a lot of cards in phyrexia all will be one will state proliferate and that's what you get to do and you get to choose uh, which cards it goes on and which cards do not get more counters and that's basically it for all of the mechanics coming in the set. Everything else is going to be standard run of the fair uh, Magic the Gathering mechanics, so they're not going into detail here. Next up, we've got Collecting Phyrexia All Will Be One. This is kind of an overview of, you know, what the collector's boosters looks like, the different types of art cards. If you are interested in art, I posted um, a little funny quick reactions video to all of the different art styles coming in for Exile All Will Be One. I will link it to uh, link you to that video in a card up at the top there. Just click that, give it a quick little read or read. Give it a quick little watch. Um, hit like, maybe comment. What... Um, what type of art style are you looking forward to the most? Then they've got a breakdown of what the boosters will entail. Um, a quick look at the extended art and buy a box promos, which is Green Sun's Twilight. Um, and then these are collector's boosters. You have chances to get these extra special art styles. And then there's Icker and Borderless Icker cards. And then Phyrexian language cards. Borderless concept traders. These are some fun little concept arts. And then borderless manga cards. These are all of the uh, main characters and planeswalkers in a manga style. Um, even the non-completed planeswalkers have this like completed form. This is the what if art that they were talking about in the storytelling video. And then uh, there's the step and complete cards, which basically just have these like Gucci symbols all over it. But it's like the Phyrexian infect symbol on it um which is cool i like it uh borderless dual lands they're reprinting um some very popular dual lands the quick duels as it were uh phyrexia all will be one complete bundle this is really cool i've pre-ordered mine i'm very excited for these in particular the oil slick lands um, i am a lands collector i have a giant collection of full sets of land arts and one day i will frame them and it will be awesome and then here you've got where you can find everything um what the booster box looks like some breakdown of the booster box contents full art lands 
the Phyrexianized Full Art Lands, Draft Boosters, Pre-Release Kits, Bundles, um, everything, Bundle Promo, well, that's pretty cool, get uh, the Rat King, um, and then we've got the two Commander decks, which is going to be Green, Black, White, Corrupting Influence with Ixel, Scion of Atraxa as the Commander, and Boros Rebellion Rising with Naya Nayali, Sun's Vanguard as the commander. Those are pretty cool. And then they're continuing to do the jump start, which nobody wants. Um, so moving on. All of these are available for pre-order starting today at your LGS. Support local shops. Uh, pre-order if you're looking forward to any of this stuff. Definitely suggest buying those bundles. I love opening bundles the most. I love having the boxes around uh, my card room um, and enjoying opening those quite a bit. And then we've got some information about the mastery details for Magic Arena. Basically, you um, you know buy into the mastery pass and you can unlock things as you play uh, throughout the expansion. You've got uh, the avatar for the expansion is Koth, Fire of Resistance, but then you can obtain uh, five other um, avatars through the mastery tree, which are these little things, gems you get that you can unlock aesthetic things through a tree as you see fit. And the five avatars you can unlock are the five main color praetors. Elish Norn, Jin Kataxias, Shieldred, Urbrask, Vorinclex. And then you get some cards and packs. And then the sleeves throughout strewn about the battle pass are the Mere Covenant, Converts sleeve, and Atraxa. These are here in the image. Uh, there's a bunch of card styles to unlock. There's one uh, player draft token. There's 4,000 total gold and 1,200 total gems. And then the the pet for this set is a Skitterling. You will unlock a common, uncommon, and rare version of the Skitterling. I do not see it in the image, but I'm sure it's on the Arena Store already. And then really quickly, we wanted to go over the full list of completed Planeswalkers is here. Um, unfortunately, Poster Boy Jace got perfected, um, or fortunately, depending on which side you're on. Uh, so everything has been revealed. All of the um, completed Planeswalkers kind of pay homage to an older set, an older poster and card art of them. So we've got Jace, Nahiri, Nissa, Vraska, and Luca all got completed. They got the goop. And then we've got Kaito, Kaya, Koth, Tyvar, and the Wandering Emperor as safe Planeswalkers. Um, the set is only a few weeks away, so we're very excited as things start to roll out. More previews are coming, and obviously our set review will also be on the horizon. And then the, I just wanted to finish off with this new uh, trailer that they posted today. So let me just pause the music. And we'll jump over to this. Let's check this out. There is the sign of your imperfection. The floor in the center. Wait. Oh, four. It's full screened weird. Let's jump over to this. Nope. Let's just watch it here. That you are. Pain is the sign of your imperfection. The flaw in the center Damn. of all that you are. But your suffering Ooh, that looks cool. is at an end. We offer you freedom from flesh. Your realms are 
And we are the only cure. Oh God. You can either kneel before this realm. Or become a part of it. Yes, mommy. All will be one. Oh. Oof. If that doesn't tickle your fancy, I don't know what will. Pre order today. Don't replay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate it. If you could subscribe to the channel, we're trying to bump that subscriber number up. Uh, we've had a lot of fun interaction with people lately, and I love doing this. So I want to keep it up, and thank you again for watching these. I appreciate you endlessly. Be kind to one another. I hope all of your opening hands are keeps, and I hope all of your opponents mulligan. Love you.